The film that we first got to know you with as Americans uh, was Four Weddings and a Funeral. Was it the first film you wrote? Second. I wrote a film called The Tall Guy, which was Emma Thompson's. Emma okay. Thompson and Jeff Goldblum. Mm -hmm. now, that smatter is an exact proportional representation <laughs> um, of how much uh -huh. money that movie made in comparison to Four Weddings. Okay, so Four Weddings and a Funeral um, introduced, gave us Hugh Grant in America. That's sort of what all sold us on Hugh Grant. Um, would you like to apologize to anyone right ah. now for introducing me? The, answer, the official answer is only to Divine Brown, isn't it? That's the, that's the official answer to the question. But uh, no, no, I mean, I didn't... I tried not to allow Hugh to audition because I thought he was too handsome and I thought it would for ruin that, he the wasn't, film. He wasn't... You didn't think he was right for that part? No, no. And in fact, in the end, if there were me, the director and the producer, and it came down to choosing between Hugh and Alan Rickman, and I voted for Alan. Oh, wow. So I, I, I was so wrong. Um, but Would have been a very different part. Yeah, and the thing is, I'd imagined it like Breaking Away in a film called Gregory's Girl, a very great mm -hmm. English movie, where uh, I thought that, that the, the guy had to be not attractive particularly. That had to be the explanation, and then he found true love. I yeah. didn't realize that by making him attractive, it would make the film sort of three times as successful. But Hugh was, uh, <laughs> Hugh was the Funny only, but Hugh was the only person who could do the lines of all the 70 people we auditioned. And he was extraordinarily on point. He was completely accurate. He, he did everything as exactly as I'd dreamt it. I was, I was very lucky.